Hello, my hard-working earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. I always have a bit of trouble with the earth signs. Taurus and Capricorn, not so much because, you know, the goat and the bull. But Virgo always stumps me because it's the water. It's, the, it's you know, it's like the virgin. Anyway, how are you going? I hope September is being nice to you now because if you're anything like any of the other signs, now then you came up. All right, here we go. We're into it early. For some reason, you um, you guys got one of my cards. This this read. Sometimes I'll pull one of mine as a as a an overall what's been happening. And I've already done two reads and they didn't want to share. So you, little worker bees, you got branching. And I think this pretty well means that you've been growing and stretching and, and expanding. This is really interesting. Have you been offered a cup of love? A serious one? Or are you offering someone the key to your heart? Is that what's been going? And this is why the branching is going on. You might be joining families. Um, setting down roots. Oh. What is going on for you? This is really good. I hope it's really good for you. I hope this is what's happening because it's it's looking very loving, gentle, honest. Determined truthful, genuine. Look at it realistically because a leopard doesn't change its spots. But this is a grown leopard. Been, who have you been defending yourself against? Oh. And moving on from past heartbreak. You're getting an awful lot. There it is. There's the heartbreak. At two eight. What else? You, um... You've got a bit to tell, Earth Signs. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm really quite fascinated now. This is a story and a half. Goodness me. What do you have gone through? 
you what has been going on for you lot Did that Pisces full moon stuff you lie around as well? Goodness me, I was hoping that I'd get one element, one group that didn't get seriously shafted. And I thought you lot, you would be, earth signs were going to be it. But apparently no. It looks to me... this look at this you've had a genuine offer heartfelt earnest loving hard working an offer of love and a, and a legit one too you know almost formal offer and and it was it was very genuine and it was and it was real but uh, the old leopard came in And the spots hadn't changed. This looks almost accusing. You had to defend yourself. And it really toppled you. So you had to... You felt a real sense of loss there. Of all the things you'd been working towards, it crashed. It, it really... And in this card, the tower is in water. So it was an emotional turmoil. And, you know, earth element being very steady and sure and, and material. You don't usually... You know, you're fairly logic. You don't usually dwell in the land of emotions. So this must have been really hard for you. But then the Page of Swords is coming in, which is a young truth, almost a new truth, because it's a page. It's, it's a message. And the Seven of Cups, this is... This, Usually it speaks of, of illusion, confusion and delusion, the Seven of Cups. But in this situation, I think this is this, see the green following through. This is new. I think because this is the, this is the lover's card, that's the Two of Cups. I think this was how it was and some old old habits die hard I just heard and that led to some ugly messy yeah full moon that bloody full moon I'll tell you what it's caused everybody Yep. Yep. Some decision making. I love this card. It's the Wolverine. I don't know if any of you have seen Brother Bear but where the moose pretend to be something other and one says he's going to be a beaver and the other one says, no, I'm a wolverine. It's a wolverine. I love him. He's so cute, but he's so determined. Power struggle stood out then. Maybe it was that. Maybe... 
Damn it, no, this isn't. Oh, Earth signs, I'm sorry, this is sounding like it. Now, the compass came out for the last reading. These two came out. in the air reading so if you've got any air in your charts or if you've got someone with air in their chart you might want to go back and have a look at that because maybe it's the it's the relationship between the two of you very similar that the relationship got a big shake up in the scent in the middle of the month and it's it's starting to come back on track yeah the world and the compass this is amazing look it's it's like it's come full circle only it's improved saturn's gone um direct too by the way so it's interesting that saturn's come up here and it's also the world card ding i love it when when i'm doing a reading and it's kind of like oh stop start stop start and you get to the end and it's like right thank you very much there it is this is the this is your card this is the earth element card so this is definitely for you this is i think the reason this came out is because you had this but it was very young probably unstable Maybe, maybe based on something innocent, naive almost, and, and possibly too intertwined, too tied up without, without an independent um, knowledge of each as as an individual so a deep knowing of yourself and relying too much on each other and then maybe an old habit um some a, a sneaky energy um something unhealthy or someone unhealthy stepped in and then you had to really defend yourself. And it was an emotional topple here and there. It was a real emotional topple. Um, and took an awful lot of strength. But you've come, it's like you've been reborn. And, it, and by doing that, you're much more pure and heart-centered. And you're going to have a lot more luck. So see a clover there. Um, and, and it will be a much more sincere form of love. Now look at that. There's the branching. See that coming up there? That's exactly what it is. Growth. Development. Here's the crossroads that you were at back here with the moving on and the strength you needed to come through that and how determined you had to be to stay in your grounded, centred, practical um, energy that you are because all this emotion would have really spun you out a little bit. Don't. Don't ever doubt that by staying in this energy, this heart-centered energy, that you, you're you going to go off the rails because you might take a little bit of a detour, but you'll always be heading true north. And then the wheel will turn and you'll... It's, it's the world card. It's like... 
The world card to me is different to the Wheel of Fortune because it's it's all possibility in one. Holding the world in the palm of your hand, you have infinite possibilities and the choice is yours. The power is yours. So use it. Go forth and take this beautiful, look, look at that. Hang on a second. Bear with me. Just talk amongst yourselves. I do this very often. Um, yeah, stepping stones. It's a process. Where are you? Mm. Stay in that. Focus on that energy. That should be what you concentrate on for the rest of September. Because that to me is beautiful. And it's all you need. I'm not going to start singing. But just know that I'm with you and I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. And hugs. And as always, kisses.